All right, so this is how I do the wood ash. It's nothing uh, earth shattering. I just take this old crappy spoon that I broke off and uh, dip it into this container that I have wood ash from my wood stove in. That was wonderful, wasn't it? Trim that off anyway. And uh, just put it around. And then I'll go ahead and water it in uh, with the urine and water mixture. And I'll do the urine, miracle grow, and control. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that, and then we'll talk. All right, so we've had some changes since our first fertilization. So today is our second fertilization. It is July 3rd and uh, things are changing which is awesome so let's start down here with the control um, you'll see the control is almost uh, like it was I did plant in the green beans like I said I would I had uh, somebody who didn't know what was going on take uh, green beans and just put two in each one of these barrels that needed it so it was a random choice but it actually ended up being great because like this one got a big one but it also got a small one um, and the same happened with every one so a big one and a small one so we can see the tomatoes looking pretty good cabbage is not looking great zucchini is okay but it is still pretty yellow right uh, I don't think this iron is working nearly as much as it should but I need to really come in here and uh, trim off some of these bad boys. Green beans are looking pretty good. They're nice and green. Uh, they're standing up straight and everything looks uh, good so far. I should point out one thing. Um, every morning this sprinkler head waters all these containers and I don't know if you can tell on the wood pile there there's a second sprinkler head and it comes this way so it waters all these containers as well so it gets double watering in the morning. All right, miracle Grow, check it out. The zucchini has come back. Remember how it was looking yellow and wasn't looking as good as the control, but now it has, has surpassed the control like that. So the green beans, again, a big one and a small one, but the big one is much, well, maybe it's about the same size. And the small one's a little smaller. Obviously the cabbage is doing a lot better and the tomato uh, about the same about the same I don't even know I before I thought it was greener but actually I'm gonna cut this leaf off anyway the the lower branch I'm gonna still trim um, all the plants like I normally would I would say that it's maybe a smidge darker not much so I'm gonna come through and trim off the suckers just like I I'm going to take care of my plants like I would normally take care of my plants. But check out the zucchinis with the urine, with wood ash, and the urine. I mean, look, right? Huge, 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 huge. Again, this is a variegated variety. These spots are perfectly normal. Um, the green beans are equalizing this had a bigger than a small one but they're about the same size cabbage is not doing as well uh, with the wood ash as the urine cabbage just the urine on its own cabbages which is interesting i think the uh, uh, tomato plants are about the same color green as all the tomato plants but these are taller and bushier i should actually well you know what i'm going to do Oh, I'm going to go get a measuring tape. Hold on. All right, grab my measuring tape. And I just want to remind everybody again, um, all of these plants were the approximately the same size when I uh, began this test. I had somebody other than myself who didn't know which container was which. Obviously, I just removed the signs. Had them place the plants uh, in containers. They're from the exact same seed collection. I'm a seed saver, so they came from the same seed collection. They were planted at the same time in the same flat. So they're all siblings. Um, so that's just good to know. And I realize this is wholly unscientific. I mean, really. 
All right, so this one maybe at the highest is 10 inches. I know I'm in the United States, so 10 inches. This one, although it is definitely uh, wider, it's not quite, well, yeah, it's this, this one in the middle here is about 11 and a half inches. Sweet, so it is a little bigger with the miracle grow. It's a miracle. This one's even fatter. This one at the height is about 15 and some inches. I'll get out of the way. This back leaf there. And then let's look at the big mama jama here. Um, about, I think this is the biggest, 14, 14 and change. So again, wholly unscientific, um, just interesting, right? So these are the wood ashes that I use. Uh, let me get out the shade. Again, it's just collected from my fireplace. It's mostly hardwood ash. I use this two gallon watering container and I use it for all the applications of fertilizer. So, um, and this is the miracle Grow actual package I'm using for vegetables and herbs. Um, the instructions with the watering can, I follow one and a half teaspoons and it's got a scoop inside of it per one and a half gallons of water. So I follow that. And because it says to use it every two weeks, that's when I water in with the urine. I've had lots of people ask me about the urine. Can you water in with urine more often? And the answer is yes, you can. I wouldn't uh, do more than once a week. Again, 10 parts water to one part urine. However, if you have bushes or trees, you can use straight urine as long as that plant is regularly watered. 